everyone, my name is Monica Julia Gokalinso and I'm a student in English Department in Samratulangi University, Indonesia and that is time I want to read a book about the amazing sarong and thank you very much for the author Mr. Kwek Hong Shin for giving me opportunity to do this and for my teacher Miss Rachel Wang thank you very much for giving me a chance to do something like this that I never do before and without further ado go 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 the amazing sarong written and illustrated by Kwek Hong Shin Published by Epigram Books From someone who never lived in a kampung to those who grew up in one, this book is dedicated to you. Nora's mother has a batik sarong that was handed down to her by her grandparents. Nora loves the beautiful pattern of flowers, leaves, shapes, and dots. One sunny day, Nora calls out to her mother, Ibu, I'm going to the beach with brother. Alright, take this sarong with you. Says Ibu. She puts little putter down and removes the baby sling tied across her body. Ibu wraps the sarong on Nora's head like a turban. This will protect you from the sun, she says. Let's go, sister, shouts Adi. Nora waves goodbye to Ibu and eagerly follows her big brother. At the beach, Adi and Nora race into the water. Oh, it's cool! Nora exclaims. Hear more! Adi playfully splays water at her. After a while, Nora and Adi are dripping wet. Let's dry up, Nora says as she unfurls the sarong on her head. She and Adi use it as a towel. When they've dried themselves, Adi hangs the sarong across the tree branch. We can rest in the sea. Adi tells his sister. Just as they are about to doze off in the sea breeze, Nora spots a group of children running towards them. They are her friends, Xiaoming, Asha, and Fauzi. Nora, there you are, calls Xiaoming. We were looking for you. Want to play blind man's bluff? Yes, but we need a blindfold. Nora replies, then pulls the sarong down from the tree. And we have one! Yay! Everyone cheers in delight. Nora wraps the cloth over Asha's eyes while Adi uses a stick to draw a big circle in the sand as the boundary. The children squall and giggle as Asa stretch out her arms to catch them. Can she guess who she has called? Let us play another game, Fauci suggests. He begins to twist the sorrow into a long cord with a knot in the middle. Tug of war, shouts Xiaomi. He teams up with Nora and Asha partners Fauci. Adi marks a central line in the sand and takes his position as the rivery. The two teams grab opposite ends of the sarong excitedly.
Ready, get set, pull, commands Adi. Immediately, the boys and girls pull the sarum rope with all their might. They have to make sure no one on their team crosses the midline. Both sides seem to be equally strong. Who will win? Just then, Shaming takes one and off the rope to wave away a fly. Seeing this, Fauzi and Asha give a big talk and Nora crosses the line. Fauzi and Asha win, Adi declares. We will win next time, Shaming says as everyone looks. After playing, it is time for a snack. Adi spreads the sarong out under a pong pong tree. As the children sit on the sarong, Fauzi takes out a package wrapped in banana leaf from his bag. My mother met this go Korea. He offers. Eagerly, each of them takes a kue. Sunbirds chirp cheerily as the children munch on their delicious sweet snack. I think it's time to go, Adi tells Nora when they finish eating. Nora takes the sorrow and puts it over her shoulders like a cape. As the children make their way back to the kampung, they hear a soft mewing. Meow, meow, meow. The children look around. Where can the kitten be? There it is. Asha suddenly yells. All of them turn and spot a kitten hanging from a tree branch. Everyone runs to the tree. Adi has an idea. He gets the children to hold all four corners of the sarong under the tree. Here, kitty kitty, Adi says gently as he calls to the kitten. The frightened kitten hesitates for a few minutes before jumping towards the center of the sarong. Hooray! They all cheer as the kitten lands safely. Meow! The kitten replies as if saying, Thank you! Come, kitty! Nora say, Follow us! After saying goodbye to their friends, Nora and Ari head home. Look at all those rambutans, exclaims Nora. Let's look some for Abba and Ibu, Adi say. Adi tiptoes and reach for the red rambutans. Nora opens up the sarong and puts a bunch of the fruit in it. Then she ties the opposite corners of the sarong together to make a bag. Shouts Nora when they get home. Come, see what we have. Nora unties the sarong bag. Abba smiles when he sees the rambutans. After Abba gives the sarong a quick rinse and hangs it up at the window to dry, the family sits down to enjoy the juicy fruit. That night, it is cool and the full moon shines brightly in the sky. Good night, sayang, Ibu whispers as he tucks Nora into bed. She pulls the sarong over Nora and kisses her gently on the forehead. As Nora sleeps, the faint scent of her little brother Putra the soft touch of the kitten's fur and the sweet taste of rambutan surround her in the comfort of the amazing sarong. The end.